In 24 hours, your cells start cleaning up old parts and breaking down messed up proteins linked to diseases like Alzheimer's. This cleanup process is called autophagy. Autophagy is crucial for refreshing cells and tissues. It gets rid of damaged parts, especially misfolded proteins. When cells can't or don't do autophagy, it leads to problems like neurodegenerative diseases. These diseases often occur because because autophagy decreases as you age. Intermittent fasting triggers a process that activates autophagy. It works by signaling pathways and reducing certain activities in cells, but it only kicks in when you have significantly lowered your glucose levels and insulin levels start to drop. Intermittent fasting is a method that may boost autophagy in your cells, potentially slowing down the aging process. In a 2019 study, 11 overweight adults who ate only between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. showed increased autophagy markers in their blood after fasting for 18 hours, compared to those who fasted for 12 hours. Another study found autophagy in human neutrophils starting at 24 hours of fasting. A third study on healthy men fasting for 72 hours showed reduced mTOR and increased autophagy in skeletal muscle biopsies. However, intermittent fasting is not the only way to enhance cell recycling. Exercise also promotes autophagy, contributing to better overall health. For instance, exercise-induced autophagy delays heart disease progression by improving the quality of heart cells and reducing oxidative damage. Exercise, similar to intermittent fasting, triggers a process called autophagy by deactivating mTOR. This occurs in very various tissues and is akin to the effects of prolonged fasting. Exercise activates AMPK and genes or proteins related to autophagy. In mice, endurance exercises boost autophagy in the heart, liver, pancreas, fat tissue, and brain. In humans, high-intensity exercises like marathon running and cycling also elevate autophagy levels. Thank you for watching. Please like comment and subscribe. Watch more videos by clicking on the video here.